Hey, what's up, guys? It's Everything Baseball 6 here with another video. Um, this is my first video back ever since I switched my channel back to baseball videos, glove videos, and stuff like that. And I'm going to start it off with a nice little unboxing. Um, I already unboxed this. I already took the tags off, but I just... Who doesn't like an unboxing? So let's get right into it. So here we go. Um, here's the box. It's, as you can see now, it's a Rolling Gold Glove. It's Mark of the Pro, and here's the glove, and it also came with the glove bag too. So here's the glove bag, it's also uh, mocha, if you couldn't tell that this glove is mocha as well. Um, it looks really nice, it feels good, it's leather, full leather bag, feels expensive, really nice quality here probably be using this or I might give it away I don't know we'll see um now here's the glove uh, as I did say earlier I already took the tags off when I got it this morning I was just excited to get it so um I just wanted to show you guys how it was packaged and all that so here's the glove um it's all mocha leather with Gold labels here, chocolate lace. This is a, not a regular label. It's got the gold outline, as you can see. Looks really nice. Um, I'm usually not a huge fan of gold binding, but uh, it looks really good on this glove, I think. That's the thing. I think a lot of the newer gloves, the Rawlings Gold Glove clubs that just have gold on them, look like it's kind of forced. This actually looks good, I think, because it's it matches the gold labels, the gold, uh, Vegas gold stitching, all that stuff. Um, I think this is also good, Vegas gold, uh, hand sewn welt, but whatever. I'm not, I can't really tell for sure. Uh, it's got the calfskin liner, which is really nice. I've This is definitely my favorite liner I've ever felt. It feels so good, so soft, and it also feels durable as well, so that's good. It's got um, gold stamping everywhere inside the glove. Also has some gold welting inside the fingers. It's also uh, uh, chocolate welting outside the fingers, so. Yep, that's pretty much the specs on the glove. It's a RGG 205-9MO, which is 11 and 3 quarters inches. Um, about it for the specs it's got the two-piece web which is nine in the uh, whatever you call this I can't think of it right now <laughs> the code whatever you want to call it but yep uh, here's the glove it's pretty stiff I've been doing work to it so it came kind of like this kind of stiff it didn't come as stiff as some gloves like my new Part of the hide that I might show tomorrow. Um, that's horrowing. It's really, really stiff. I've been working on it for like a month now, and it's still not even close to broken. But yeah, this I think I can probably, um, I can probably break this in a couple days here if I play some catch with it and stuff like that. But yep. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say about this glove. The lace is really nice on this. Um, it's really thick, feels good, um, same with the leather, leather's top of the line, feels like, pretty much like pro, prefer pro preferred leather, except a little softer, um, that's probably why it's not, not as stiff as some hard of the hides and pro preferreds that I've had in the past, but it feels really good. This glove might not be as durable as some of the gloves I've owned but it definitely feels really good, and I won't be using it all the time. I'll probably just break it out for games. So that'll preserve the gold binding and all that, and keep the leather nice, and this stamping, which will, um, will definitely fade off if I use it too much, because I remember with my custom Heart of the Hide, I had silver stamping, and that faded off pretty quickly. No big deal, though still feels just as good even if it does fade off just cosmetic um hand sewn well on this feels really good 
I love hands home well. So, yep, that's where it, that's where it's at. It's pretty hard to squeeze, so I'm not. I don't like to squeeze it all the way, but I can if I need, like if I really wanted to. But yep, that's gonna wrap this video up. If you have any questions about the glove, you can just drop a comment. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.